Hey, this is Zach, and I just wanted to make a quick little video to point out some things with the uh, CK Editor interface. Um, you'll notice if, if I'm in here and, I, and I'm editing, um, right now the style menu says paragraph, and then when I go up here, it says heading two. Um, if I click on this, I see I have options for block styles here. Um, and I've removed the H1 because we don't want the client using the H1. You can also use this to style tables. Um, the trick is if you click in the table, you have to click in the table. Um, so you could, you could click in a particular cell, but you can also use this little thing here. And you'll notice that when you have this table clicked, you now have an option to add no border. And what that does is effectively, it just removes the border. So, and if you want to return it to how it was, you just click back in the table and choose no border again. And now the border's back. Um, let's, let's add it back. So now we have no border. Um, another way to do this would be to click in here and right click and go to table properties and then in the advanced you see now it has a, a class of no border which is basically what that button up there did it just attached that class so if you wanted to add additional classes we could add them there um, one more thing I'm going to Return this to bordered because I think bordered looks better. And then you'll notice that here, these uh, these are heading header cells. T that the sh in there right now they're just marked up as regular TDs, which are just table cells, but they're bolded. Instead of doing this and having you know bold headers. It's better to right click on the table and under headers say first row and click OK. And what that'll do is now these are marked up as THs, which have more semantic meaning and already have style, you know, built into them. And let's save. There.